everybody happy 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 monday um it's beautiful out there today after a bit of a dull old horrible weekend it was loads of rain and cold and all sun's out today which is nice although it's not very warm still but it's uh it's nice it's a nice day uh hopefully you all had a lush weekend you all had a really nice uh weekend and got to do some crafting or see some family or something hope so anyway um, Drew, sorry, could you turn that down a wee bit? I haven't turned it down enough. It's a bit, bit on the loud side. <laughs> um, we're going to do a really quick and simple little project today, which um, uses up orphan blocks, or you can just cut it out of fat quarters, um, which I'm going to go through in a moment. But um, I've got a daily deal for you. So you might remember we did these. We've done a couple of Zoom classes on them, actually. These um, project wallets, you know, the with the, with the zippity do done zip in the back. Okay. Um, and they hold, well, as you can see, they hold a massive amount of stuff. Um, I've got a few of them left as kits um, with the fabric and everything included. They were $24.99. We took them on a chanda. And I've got just a few left and I'm trying to clear some space in the shop now. So I'm going to take a tenner off. They're $14.99. And they've got all the, all the Liberty fabric, your zip, your vinyl, your pattern, your pre-printed wadding, everything in them. So I've got them in, actually, could you just check those over there for me? Oh, uh, Groves. Drew's with me today. Drew's got a day off from work. So uh, Drew's filming today. It's like old times, Groves. <laughs> so um, I've got one in the pink set. I've got, I think there's two in the pink set left. Um, I think there's three in the blues. And you've got all your fabrics, everything's in there. Um, I've got, I think it's three in the rainbow, which is, again, it's all Liberty, but it's the Wiltshire shadow, all the rainbow colours. Um, I've only got one in the teals, which are all those lovely dark oranges and teals and stuff. Okay. Um, I've got one left in the grey, which is the one I showed you a moment ago, the ready-made one. I've got one of those. And I think there's two left in the tan, which are all those lovely sort of warm, homely colours. So those are on as a daily deal. Like I said, they've got £10 off the kit. So you're actually getting it's ne nearly, nearly a metre and a half of fabric, plus your zip, pattern, vinyl, everything okay so grab those last few if you fancy having a go um not if not being funny it'd be worth it just to get the liberty fabric even if you never make the wallet up <laughs> so so that's my little daily deal today again we're just trying to clear stuff out got lots and lots of new things in we've got lots of stuff ready for a chanda oh the craft store i keep saying a chanda craft store it's um yeah loads going on so uh, i need the space i need the shelves so you guys are all getting bargains um, so who's there today, Drew? Who's coming mm, online? We've got Sheila, Grace. Hi Sheila, Tina, hi Grace, hi Claire, Tina, hi Claire, Linda, Marilyn, hi Linda, Carol, Marilyn, Carol, Carolyn, Carolyn, Carol Ivinson. Hi, lots and lots of you. Me. Lovely, lovely. Hi everybody. Um, so another real quick and simple little project today, but this um, was because when we did, a, not this weekend because it was horrible, a couple of weeks ago we were sat out in the garden and we were having tea out there because it was nice and i was determined to to get outside even though it was a bit chilly um serviettes kept flying everywhere you know just cheapy paper serviettes and they kept going everywhere so i saw these online and thought and they'd done them just with fat quarters i thought what a perfect way of using up those blocks that we sometimes make as a sample to test a pattern or if you're making a quilt and you change your mind and you might have one or two left over, um, mm -hmm. they, you can put them on your, your table. I mean, it doesn't have to be the patio table. And you can stack up all your paper serviettes in there and it just stops them all blowing away rather than sticking your salt cellar oil or your, your ketchup bottle on them. <laughs> it keeps them all nice and, nice and neat in there. And then you can just tuck them all away and stick them in the cupboard for next time you're, you're out and about. You could do them in Christmas fabrics if you wanted for your Christmas table. They're really, really simple to do. Now, like I said, I'm going. I'm using up some orphan blocks. I found some blocks, you know, because I make a lot for the for this for block of the for block of the week and stuff. So that was the the gecko star one we did the the other day. Um, I've got another one here. Do you remember we did um, the scrappy heart one? I could use that one up. Um, I'm actually today going to use that um, curved shoe fly block that we did. So I'm going to use that up that with it with a piece of lining fabric but if you don't have orphan blocks you know random odd ones left over um you can just cut this straight out of fat quarters and just have some bright pretty fabrics okay um i've based this on like this size 
serviette if you get like the really big like chunky ones or even if you use um you know linen napkins you can um you can adapt this very very easily for whatever size napkin you use um i used one of these and i opened it out like that and this is how you know what size to cut like that and you cut that size of the napkin so for me they were 12 and a half inches which was perfect for orphan blocks if you use bigger napkins or if, like i said if you use you know linen or you know fabric napkins and you've got them folded you just want it the same size as one of them when it's opened out okay but we're going to work on 12 and a half inches today so they would then sit back in there like that stick them back in there like that and then you bring all those edges in like that You've got a button on there little bits of elastic and it just keeps them all nice and safe and tidy when they're in the cupboard so they don't go because if you're anything like me I normally keep them in the plastic wrap and then the wrap gets ripped and then they all end up everywhere so or when they're on the table they're there just for people to pull out as they need um, so who's got anything to say anybody got anything to tell me Anybody there? Anybody doing anything? Any comments, Stray? I just said those are a great idea. Yeah, they are. They're just, it's, again, it's, this is a really simple little little thing to do, and it's going to take no time at all. Um, so I'm just going to re-iron these blocks, okay, because this one's not been ironed after I put it together. So really good start. Spray of starch. This one measures, like I said, 12 and a half inches. So I'm going to... You want to cut your lining piece exactly the same size, which I've already done. I'm just going to give that a spray starch as well. So talk to me, ladies. What did you get up to over the weekend? Anybody got anything nice to tell me? What have you been doing? Anybody having a chat to there today? Uh, Susan, uh, Suzanne said, uh, brilliant idea. Got those orphan blocks. Yeah, yeah. Be really nice little presents for people as well. You know, you could, just, you know, get or again, like we said the other day, if you're making for chari little charity makes, you know, and stuff. If you're doing like a charity where you're trying to raise money for somewhere, really nice little easy way of using up some of those bits that you don't know what to do with. So, um, hopefully, you've all had our newsletter for those of you who have signed up for it. That went out, um, I think it went out, was it yesterday or Saturday? I can't remember if it was Saturday or Sunday it went out. Um, but Sean put that together and there's some nice little bits of news and stuff and all that's going on. So, see, I still didn't manage to iron that one very well. Okay, so first thing we want to do is add some elastic to this, all right? Now, I'm using um, this round, like round elastic. You know, it's nice, it's quite stretchy, but it's nice and soft and it's round. But you could use you could use ribbons if you want. You wouldn't, you know, they would still hook round the button um, if you haven't got that. In fact, actually, you know, when you get on clothes, you get the the ribbony bits that I end up always cutting out that really thin, skib skinny ribbon. I was in cutting them out because it annoys me, and then things don't stay on hangers, which then you think I wish I hadn't cut them out. <laughs> But they annoy me you could use those um or just a very thin you know square elastic you know like a quarter inch not even quarter inch you can get like eighth inch elastic but this round stuff is brilliant and i want three pieces that are about three inches so you need very little so that much times three okay and cut myself one of those and another one like that and another one anybody having a chat there while i'm doing this love anybody talk, uh, talking anybody telling me what they were up to Claire mm. says she's carried on with uh her cal uh crochet nice, along right uh nice to use a black uh, use it as a blanket whilst crocheting it oh nice yeah it gets cozy the bigger it gets doesn't it you get you keep nice and warm that's why i quite like binding quilts because they are on your lap and they keep you all cozy as you're doing it <laughs> <laughs> so the elastic is going to go into three corners of your square okay and we're just going to fold it in half like that okay in fact drew could you pass me that pin cushion that's got the little binding clips on it and you want it to come in on the corner like this okay just kind of either side of the corner like that and overhang it just a weeny bit as well and then just use a binding clip I'm gonna have to pick it up to do it like that okay and just use a binding clip to hold it in place a second 
and we're going to do that can you see it's coming it's facing inwards right and then we're going to put one on the other side like this and you want this on three of the four corners anybody else doing anything say anything else when pinning these on um, oh. someone said you can insert elastic could you use hair bubbles oh yeah you could yeah hair bubbles would be good yeah if you haven't got any elastic yeah yeah that would work really well wouldn't it What's that? The comment disappeared. I read half of it and then... Oh, right. And then it vanished today. Yeah, no, it's gone. Oh, the tech's been horrendous today. We've had problems with the internet again in the shop. All the lights went down on the router and you're like, God knows what's going on with it. Here we go. Like that. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it over to the machine and we're just going to stitch right across the corner just to hold it in place. Okay. I'm just going to actually just... Make sure I catch hold of this one straight over and catch hold of that one. And you want to be right close to the corner. You don't want to see this stitch in, but you know, about an eighth of an inch down. So I'll take this over to the machine and pop that one up. And I found as well, where's a pin? I'm gonna grab a pin. I found a pin helped with this as well. Okay. So, cause it wants to move away from the elastic. So I'm gonna pop the foot down and start stitching. And this one here wants to move away because it doesn't want to be squished. So I lift my foot with a needle down and used a pin to kind of hold it, to tuck it back under and hold it there so that I could stitch across like that. Okay. And it's just a couple of little stitches. You could hand do this if you wanted to. If you wanted to just do it by hand across there. But you know me, if I can do it on the machine, I will. <laughs> so anybody else there telling me what they got up to okay. okay see that one's trying to work its way out so tuck it back in with the pin get it right under there hold it in place jackie says it. great idea for uh, my caravan uh, for my caravan my husband doesn't like the big one um yeah they've got oh comment's gone again is it yeah i don't know what's going on mm. Gonna make one for your caravan. I, I'm, yeah, I'm, sorry. yeah. Sorry, lovely. The comics are going too quickly, and Drew's not getting a chance to uh, to read them properly. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, yeah, perfect. You're right, actually, for a caravan because it just keeps them, you know, from blowing away or anything. There we go. And just tuck that one back under again. Use a pin to get it under there. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna go over here. And you can see I've just tacked those in. They don't have to be perfect because mm -hmm. they're going to get sewn again now, but they're just enough there to hold that in. Okay. We're then going to put these right sides together. So, and again, this is going to be done in about five, six minutes, if that, the whole thing. I'm going to line up those edges and either pin or clip them in place just to get them together. Okay. So again, I'm just going to put one on the corner like that, just to hold that corner in. One there, put one in the middle. And obviously you've got nothing on this corner because that's where the button's going to go eventually. Like that, all the way around. Stick another one just there. One in the middle, one over there. Okay, now we're going to stitch all the way around, quarter of an inch, but you're going to leave a gap. So you know what I'm like, I'm forever miss forgetting it. So I like to draw them on there. I don't stitch in there okay what well, that's probably a bit big actually about three you need a what one two three about three inch gap okay just to be able to pull it all through so i'm going to take it back to the machine i'm going to start stitching here and i'm going to make sure i back stitch and i'm going to go all the way around and finish just here okay so just like the bagging out type technique that we've done before so if you did read the um newsletter um, you may have seen that Sean put a bit in there about the little mini swap, the you know the little friendship star mini make swap that we did. Um, if you all want to, um, I mean it seemed to go really really well. Lots and lots of you seem to really enjoy doing it and swapping with other people and stuff. So if you want us to, we will do another one later on in the year, um, and uh, it'll be a different project. You know I'll do do another little project. Um, and we'll do a form again like we did with this one just to say right okay yeah I'm happy to to swap but if you want to shout let us know okay if you want us to do it again we're happy to because it was really lovely that you guys all really got into it and uh, 
and all had a had a little go. There we go. All the way down like this. Like that. And all I'm doing is just keeping the edge of foot. I've moved my needle over. Just use your quarter inch foot if you wanted to. So anybody else there, Drew, just while I'm doing this all the way around. Uh, Leslie says she's, uh, she's sorry that she's late internet dropped on and off, driving me mad. Oh, yeah, it's been a bit of a... Oh, hang on. Not quite far enough on that one. Let's go down another one. There we go. <laughs> Better. Yeah, and tech issues at the moment are a nightmare, aren't they? It's, uh, it's a real pain. To this last corner, right into the corner, make sure that it's right. And Carol I'm gonna... and Leslie said they want to do the uh, do fabric. the next swap again. Ah, yeah. oh, lovely, fab, fab. Yeah, I'll um, I'll come up with another little project. So I've got a couple of little ideas that we could do, um, and then we'll do a one o'clock on it so that you guys are all happy to know what we're doing and stuff, and then um. We'll set up set up the form and all. But they'll probably be towards the end of end of May, I would imagine, because it's a little bit busy at the moment. <laughs> so we're gonna clip off those ones there, like that, clip off that corner. And you can clip off these, but you don't really want to clip off the elastic. You want the elastic to stay in there. So unless you know, if it's not too bulky, I would actually leave it. I think I'd just leave it there. Okay, so just pull it through that gap. So while I'm fighting with this, anybody else there having a chat through? Um, anybody else talking to me today? No, not since no? Carol. Not since Carol? What did you all make? Has anybody do, done anything fun? Did anybody do any crafting? Okay, all the way through and then pull that out with that little bit of elastic there. Where's my little turner? There it is. Okay, and get my little prim turner in there. And really poke out those corners. Suzanne says she's uh, interested in it as well. Ah, oh, good, good, good. Oh, I'm glad to glad that people enjoy doing it and uh, want to have another go at it because I, I really did like it. I like that the fact it was a real community type feel thing. There we go. Let me poke my thing through then. It's very close to the edge. <laughs> Get that one through there. Push out that corner. Nearly there. Oh, hang on, I missed a corner. <laughs> Let's get my finger in there first. And push out that corner. Okay, give this a good press. What's that taking me? Six minutes? Six, seven minutes so far? We're nearly done. Okay, so give this a good press. Really roll out that seam and get it right on the edge. Give it a good roll with your fingers like that. Get it right out on the edge. I just like the fact that I, it's a way of using up odd blocks because, you know, we have them and we never know what to do with them. And apart from doing like really scrappy quilts, you know, it's a nice, nice way to use something up, isn't it? Uh, Sandra just says she slowly, um, slowly sewed air in her binding on my BOD. Lock of the day? I think so. Sewing in the binding on your block of the day. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, the stitch pink one. Nice. Okay. That was the block of the day, wasn't it? The Moda one we did back last October. With the, the little gap, you just want to tuck those edges in, roll it under, tuck the raw edges in like that, and then give it a really good press. Okay. It's one of the reasons I starch it. It just holds it all nicer as you're, as you're doing this. Right, back to the machine now, and all I'm going to do is just top stitch all the way around. And you see that my elastics have come through on the corners, like that. That was moved slightly, but it really won't matter. And uh, we're just going to top stitch all the way around. Okay, so talk to me, please. What have you got to tell me? So I'm going to top stitch about an eighth of an inch. So I'm going to move my needle over. So for me, that's about six, my width. And I'm going to top stitch about an eighth of the inch all the way around. Susan says she bought. Andy's set of stars, have they? Oh, did you? Oh, yeah, who watched Andy on um, the craft sh craft store? Um, oh, fab. They were lovely blocks, weren't they? Really, really nice. So I'm glad you got his uh, templates. I didn't get a chance to see him, actually. I might try and watch it on Rewind. Um, 
But did anybody else watch? He's very clever with his templates, really, really clever. There we go. You could, if you wanted to, add some wadding or something into this if you want to make it a bit thicker. But I don't, really don't think it needs it. It's only a cover at the end of the day, isn't it? So, but you could do if you wanted to. Rebecca says, have you done a live on cushion piping? Uh, we did do ages and ages ago, but I could revisit that. I can do that again for people if they want, want me to. Um, when did we do cushion piping? I think it was when we did the pie crust cushions ages ago. Oh God, it was probably about 14, 15 months ago. So yes, I could do, uh, I can do, do another little one perhaps next week on that. If anybody else wants to know how to tackle binding. There we go. Okay. So just top stitched all the way around. Okay. And apart from trimming off your, your threads, you can do like that. There we go. That was a bit wonky, that one. Never mind. That's actually much, pretty much done. Okay. What we need to do now is just add a button onto here. Okay. Now you can absolutely just raise your button box and choose a coordinating button. But I thought I might make a covered button for mine because I could use a little scrap of fabric up. So, um, and I like a covered button. I do. I like a covered button. So I'm going to, oh, hang on, trying to grab this. It doesn't want to come. <laughs> I'm going to use a little bit of the, the lining fabric just to make a little covered button. So on the back of these, I'm sure lots of you will have done them before. These ones are 15 mil buttons. So I've cut out the 15 mil circle off the back and that's the little bit I'm going to use as my template. So let me just get rid of that bit of sellotape that's on there actually. And then I want a pencil. Mm, here, we, here we go. And I'm just going to draw around that template on this this is what's left over from the fat quarter for the for the back of this. There's nothing stopping you using orphan blocks front and back. And if you just put a normal button on one on both sides, it would be reversible then. Yeah. So I'm just drawing around that template. It only has to be very rough for drawing. You don't have to worry too much. You just want a rough idea of what size you need. Like that. And I'm going to cut that out. So, any questions or comments there while I'm cutting this out? Irina says she watched and she really enjoyed the shows. Ah, good. Good, good. Yeah, he's got some really lovely templates, some really beautiful stuff. There we go, all the way around like that. Little circular fabric. You're right there, Drew. No, oh, st standing on bobbins. And then I want one of my buttons. So, I'll take the, the back off. Come on. Should have done this before shouldn't i and then there's the button okay and then i need to thread a needle which i've already done because i was organized for a change and what you want to do is just do a running stitch all the way around okay so i'm going to come out up there like that and i leave an, a longish tail so i've got something to to pull it in and then we're going to just do a running stitch they don't have to be mega small stitches you're going to go in what's that about a 16th of an inch from the edge you can see they're not they're not really big. You just want to put some running stitches so that we can gather all this fabric up round. The oh, don't stick the needle in your finger. That doesn't help. So, so Sarah and Beth and I are all really busy in the shop today. Not only getting your orders out, but um, cutting kits and things ready for Thursday. So I'm on the craft store on at ten o'clock. And then again at one o'clock on Thursday. So I'm going up Wednesday night. So that means Drew's got to uh, sort Tom out for school Thursday morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You've got to get him up and make sure he moves. Okay. So there we go. So I've just done a little running stitch all the way around. And both of my threads are coming out on the right side of the fabric. Okay. Not the wrong side. I'm going to pop that one down like that. Pop my button in there like that. And then you're going to pull both threads at once like that to gather up that fabric okay hang on i've got to grab both of the ends i've managed to tangle that there that's because i'm trying to do it flat rather than towards me Ooh, where's it gone there it is okay and i'm gonna tie this off now 
it's gone loose again because I hadn't pulled it tight but this will as soon as I can, oh, I can't make my fingers work today right so I'm working in my own light so let's make sure that's did that tie off it didn't oh my goodness I'm making a hash of this today where's the ends gone there it is there right we'll get rid of that needle because I keep stabbing myself with it like that right don't do it like this it's a lot easier normally <laughs> i'm making a right hash of this <laughs> there we go right so let's tie this one off like that so i'm going to pull it in and pull it in tight and you want to make sure that that button's nice and centralized okay like that all right so i've got that all in there it doesn't matter that it's not quite gathered there that'll be fine okay and then tie it off tight like that okay there we go got there in the end <laughs> i tend to leave the ends out until i've put the the cap on okay now the cap you can see has got i've got little teeth can you see they've got little bubbles on there that's going to go face down so you're going to put that over the shank like that and then grab yourself a knee a pin or something and just tuck in any bits like that that are sticking out tuck them all in nice and tightly underneath and then you're going to snap it on okay so you've got to push quite hard and it they do sometimes they want to go sometimes they don't this one's going to play oh, it's going to play up today in it here we go it's going it's going there we go got it there's <laughs> one side um i've actually got they're not uh, typically they're the other side of the room i've got a little pair of um pliers that i actually squish it down with which helps a lot Okay, and then once it's squished in and I know it's all in nicely, then I would trim off that thread. Okay, like that. So I've got a nice little covered button and that I made that way harder than it needed to be. I really did. <laughs> okay, I would then, I'm not going to sew it on now because you don't need to, me to see, watch me sew a button on, but I would sew that on there. Okay, Especially, particularly as I've just unthreaded my needle, so I'd sew that on there. Okay which is all I did with this one. Okay, I quite like these as well for this project rather than a flat button, although a flat button works because um, like the little shank bit of the button means that the elastics have got plenty of space to, to hook into. So as you can see, I've just sewn that one in on there like that. And then you can just add your serviettes in. So any questions, comments there, okay? So bring up your button and then just hook over your elastics over that button okay um, anybody susan said brilliant uh carol said thanks i have my moments <laughs> i have them Imagine. oh maybe it was from a previous comment oh, my <laughs> there we go and there you go that would be that one done okay oh yeah she so, said if um if you use all from blocks on both sides you could make it reversible yeah absolutely that would be a really good idea really really good idea yeah you could have an orphan block both sides and if you put you'd need to put a button on both sides but maybe use a flat button on the one side and, and the sh like a shank button on the other because you'd need to if you if it was that way around you need something to hook onto but yeah absolutely um you can see if i put these into here like that okay that would then come up like that like 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 that like that and that was going to go in like that and it would keep them all nice and safe and neat you've got that little bit of uh protection there and you don't have to undo the whole thing if you just keep them like three of them two of them on and leave the one corner open you can just pull out the serviettes from the side keep them clean and keep them from flying away when you're in the garden or on a picnic or whatever so anyway that's little napkin holders okay with a, a little covered button which uh yeah i quite like those i thought they were quite a nice nifty little idea there's lots and lots of them out on there on pinterest lots of versions of it um but i just like the idea of using a using up an orphan block and if you haven't got any just cut two 12 and a half inch squares instead okay so any other questions or comments there or otherwise i'm going to go uh, no day. everyone just says great i um, great idea Fab. Everyone's just happy lovely lovely excellent right i will lovely leave you i won't see you tomorrow sarah will be here tomorrow um and she's going to make um a hanging pin cushion which i think is for your machine i can't quite remember what she said but i think so um i will be back on wednesday with block of the week there isn't a one o'clock on thursday because of a chanda 
so oh, Chanda, the craft store i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to get that out of my head before thursday aren't i um because i'm on at 10 a.m and 1 p.m um we'd be clashing doing this as well so um hopefully you'll you'll watch me on there instead so we've just got monday to wednesday this week um i think that's everything i think that's everything we've got to tell you yeah, no problem nothing else to tell you nobody's if nobody else hasn't got got any questions no everyone says thanks no Great. problem lovely lovely i will see you all uh wednesday with the blog and tune in tomorrow for seth take care guys bye